Yes. I love my whiskey, and I love my whiskey. You can't have it. <laughs> We're live. What? Now? Live. Now. Good evening. This is CNN Action News. We are in day 36 of the massive outbreak of mass hysteria that has been gripping our community. We have been assured that the situation is well under control and that the best thing to do at this point is to stay in your homes. I repeat, the situation is under control and we are only suffering from minor outbreaks. There is no cause for panic. Our top story tonight is the recent threats from Dr. Zug to burn the city's water supply at the festival this October 22nd. Officials say that they are certain that he will be captured soon and returned to the asylum. Zug, as you'll recall, is a twisted sociopath who believes he can control the zombies that have, and has recently announced from his hidden lair live via satellite that if we do not agree to pay him, and I'm quoting this, $11 billion, that he will destroy our water supply by somehow burning the river. Yeah. Commander of Team Z, Wow Bill McCourty, has issued a statement claiming that the threats will not stand and Zug will be brought to justice. This is to assure the general public the lunatic Zug will be caught or killed. I assure you that my squad will take care of him and the public will be once again safe. So you just showed the clip? Isn't that what I just said? God, idiots are running this. No wonder you're so Read disorganized. Read the news. Continuing. Massive tragedy was nearly avoided when an outbreak at the Heritage Park was quelled by Team Zed, who showed up just in time to save over 30% of the people that were gathered to celebrate our third consecutive day without a zombie sight. What? A festival? Are you serious? In a festival in the middle? In other news, we are happy to report that Pat the Hot Dog Guy survived the massacre and will be continuing, continuing to sell his delicious lunch items at 75 Main Street Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 2. Um, so yeah, I guess that's something. A member of Team Z, Raven, was injured today when he became involved in an accident involving an inappropriate comment about another team member, Ragnarok. Word is Raven will be ready to rejoin the team as soon as his jaw is unwired and the boot is removed. You know, it's not really a surprise. It's just figures. Why would you- I am running this monkey farm, Franken here! You will do as they tell you and read the news that they say, or so help me God, I will have you shot! We apologize for the inconvenience. Now, back to the news. We have just been informed that, due to an immediate breakthrough in science, our leaders have developed a um, machine that can predict when and where there will be another zombie attack. According to President Jameson, it can be reasonably certain that the next attack will occur October 22nd, between 6 p.m. and midnight, in Berlin, New Hampshire. Yes, it is certain. There will be zombies in that place at that time, confirmed. And we are also understanding that the streets are about to be declared safe, as the menace seems to be over for now. We're going to go live to our girl on the streets, Justina. We apologize for the quality of the video, but it's hard to do this job properly when you're sitting in a bunker underground and afraid for your life! Justina, how are things going on up there? Well, it appears our girl on the street is running for her life. So the accuracy of these reports is minimal. Hang on. What? They're in the studio. Uh, Stu no! 